Okay, guys, here's my little contribution to uh, this little contest or showing what different geometry tool cutters, um, shapes, and all that good stuff. I'll show you the bit after I'm done. It's basically um, something I found quite interesting. It it ha it's a it's a roughing and finishing in one in one grind. Um, there's no uh, radiuses on the tool. There it's very sharp and uh, obtuse. Uh, I made this the the roughing part at a 45 degree. It has about 8 to 10 degrees of side rake on the top. The, the, the side cutting edge clearance is roughly 6 to 8 degrees. The finishing point, which is a 10 degree point, um, is also at roughly 6 to 8 degrees. Of clearance and then you have a negative five degree relief on, on the tool here and it will take heavy cuts um, and the idea behind the tool was for production work this tool by design is protecting the actual finishing cutting edge um, for the roughing, finishing, and the relief angles, um, there's a lot of support for the cutting edges, and that's why the tool will last quite a long time in a production uh, environment. It's a, it's not that difficult to grind. Um, the tool produces a fairly decent finish. I didn't spend a lot of time on honing it, so. Um, I'm just going to show you what it'll do. This is the only mild steel 1018 crap that I have. It's a one inch diameter, I believe. Um, we'll try it at 400 thou off the diameter. It'll curl a really nice chip, actually. Um, looks good. I think we're running at about 250 RPM. And the threading box is another interesting aspect to the handy lathe. The, the numbers are revolutions per inch instead of uh, inches per revolution. So you have to times whatever setting you're on by four and then you take one into that number and that gives you inches per rev which what 56 times four is what 200 and 50 roughly and so it's like um, I don't know what it actually comes out to the 80 I believe is about three a little over three thou per rev so 40 would be you know six and a couple of tenths so it's probably I don't know around four thou I got this set up at but um, let's, uh, I'm holding the camera, so it may be a little shaky or whatever. Don't get all excited. Um, let's take a cut, see what we can do here. I'm going to do this with one hand. Okay, we're touching off. this one entire revolution it's 400 thou it's a pretty hefty cut let's put some uh, move on there and see what we can do here Yeah. 
it'll peel this all day. Now we're getting a pretty good chip. Need a little bit of lube. And we'll, uh, we'll do that. So it'll take a it'll take a fairly heavy cut, and um, it leaves an okay finish. I mean, if I honed the actual finishing point which is a 10 degree point um, in the top or the side rake let's see if I can get this in here see what it is because um, you see that this is uh, yeah this may be a better view so we got a 45 we've got a 10 degree and then we got a negative five and the relief on the front is roughly six to eight degrees the top or the side rake is about six six to eight degrees you can see that um, it works very well it peels off the stuff you know if it's engaged it'll it'll take off I mean if you make a a, a longer side cutting edge it'll it'll take off whatever and it'll it'll be sharp I mean this thing is still sharp very very sharp so this is a really good tool you know for removing a lot of material um, if I had a bigger piece in there and it was more stouter you'd probably see a, a better finish you know you guys know all this stuff but this is my little contribution to the chip off and uh, I just wanted to show what the little Hemi can do. It'll do a lot more than that. It's only a little two horsepower machine, but it's it's got a gearbox on it, and um, I can turn whatever off I need. I mean, how much more do you need to remove in one pass? And it's fairly good. I mean, it's it's not the best finish, but if you go in there and finish it with a, a nicer finishing tool. Um, this is a really good tool to remove a lot of material and to get the job done. If you want to finish it with a better tool, fine. But you can also make this side cutting edge, the, the roughing part, 30 degrees. Um, experiment with that. But the 10 degree point, the finishing point, should be a 30 second wide or so. Um, otherwise, it can possibly induce some chatter. But, um, I hope this is, you can see all this in here, I, I wanted to show what I did. It took me 10 minutes to grind this. I did it without a jig, I just did it by hand and um, threw it in there and see what we got. This is what we got. Alright guys, thanks for watching.